Welcome. This is Brenda Harris greeting you in the precious name of Jesus. Thank you so much for stopping by today. I tell you what, the left is kind of going crazy, aren't they? Because of Trump's picks for his dream team is what they're calling it. There's going to be some changes coming about. And my mom had a dream last night. And she said in this dream, her favorite chair in the living room was moved. And I thought to myself, hmm, that means change. And before I voiced my opinion, she said, I think it must mean change is coming. So we kind of agreed on that. And she said, moving that chair meant making room for something else. But change is coming because I'm telling you what, the Lord God Almighty is behind it all. And he gave us a wonderful gift in DJT to turn this nation around because we were really headed down the wrong path. I believe that. And the Antichrist was trying to come in and make it his time right now. But it's not his time yet. There's a great end time harvest that's supposed to come before that ever happens. But I was watching this very interesting video. If you want to look it up, the channel name is Shane Vaughn, S-H-A-N-E-V-A-U-G-H-N. This man likes to report on politics. And he's talking about one of DJT's picks. And that is for Attorney General. How many of you have been keeping track of that one? Matt Gates. Oh, people on the left are upset about that. And the rhinos, I believe. And they have been saying, oh, that is never going to happen. That's never going to take place. Because there's enough rhinos in the Senate to put a stop to Matt Gates being confirmed. But Shane Vaughn said there is enough people in the Senate that he will be confirmed. But he said something very interesting. He said that if there is too many rhinos and not enough people will vote for Matt Gates. Then he said he learned something very important and that is that Trump can name Matt Gates as Attorney General without being confirmed in the Senate. And he told the article in the Constitution where this is true and he said in the year 2014 the Supreme Court even ruled on this and said yes that can happen because of a case that came up and I'll try to explain it a little bit and I'm telling you what if you really want to hear the details about it. Go watch that Shane Vaughn video. He explains it very well. But he was saying if the House is not in session, that the President has the authority to shut the House down. And if there's a disagreement I guess in the Senate, between the Senate and the House, if I understood it correctly, then he can cause them 
to be adjourned. And then during that time, he has the power and the authority to appoint an officer like Matt Gates for AG. So this is huge. And there is going to be great change because Matt Gates told Carrie Lake, he told her, he said, he's going to investigate the fraud that took place in Arizona this go around and also 2020 and it is believed by some that Carrie Lake really was elected governor but there was election fraud going on back in 2020 so if he does proclaim that there's going to be a looking into the election fraud in 2020 and found that she won the governorship election, then she will be able to be governor. That's just amazing. And YT Politics is another person that I watch, and he was talking about that very thing, about the election fraud that has taken place in Arizona. And so... That's not the only fraud that Matt Gates will look into. You ought to watch some of his speeches. I don't think that he can be bought off by anyone. I think that he's going to try to clean up the corruption from top to bottom. And that's what I've been praying to God for years that the corruption would be wiped clean from the very top to the very bottom all across this land. And I'm sure many of you have been praying about this type of thing. And I believe that God is going to answer our prayers. Thank God that he took care of us. And last night I had a dream and I believe that the Lord was saying that the word hidden came up very strongly in that dream. So I went and looked up verses about hidden, and I would like to share those with you. And First John 1, 6-7 says, Call to me and I will answer you. And will tell you great and hidden things that you have not known. How many of you want the Lord to speak to you? I cherish those times and those moments. Amos 3 and 7. For the Lord God does nothing without revealing his secrets to his servants, the prophets. Daniel 2, 22. He reveals deep and hidden things. He knows what lies in darkness and light dwells with him. And God is going to send his light over this nation. And he's going to reveal things. He's going to take the hidden things and reveal them to everyone. Deuteronomy 29, 29. The secret things belong to the Lord our God. But the things which are revealed and disclosed belong to us and to our children forever. Colossians 1, 26-29 The mystery that has been kept hidden for ages and generations, but is now discussed to the Lord's people. Isaiah forty five fifteen. Truly you are a God who hides himself. O God of Israel, Savior. Matthew eleven twenty five through 30 I thank you, Father, Lord of heaven and earth, that you have hidden these things from the wise and prudent and have revealed them to babes. 
Psalm 119.11 Your word I have hidden in my heart that I might not sin against you. Praise be to the Lord God forever for his great and mighty word. I just thank him so much. And I like to think when I was looking at that dream that the Lord was saying to me that he is hiding me under the shadow of his wings. And that's what he's saying to you today. He is hiding you under the shadow of his wings. You know how a hen gathers her chicks up underneath her wings? That's what God is doing to us. And he is protecting us from the wiles of the devil. And the enemy was trying to take down our country. And the Lord just gathered his precious little chicks up under his wings. And he saved them. And he is speaking to the enemy. And they are going to be judged. And remember, I did that video about 11-11, which means judgment is coming. I've been seeing that so much and I've even seen it today I, every time I see that I, I think God is really speaking strongly because judgment is coming for the wicked in the mighty name of Jesus Amen